Lesson 3 Pronouns Section 1 Type of Pronouns Pronouns are words that are used to replace nouns in a sentence. There are several types of pronouns, each with its own unique function. Here are the different types of pronouns. Personal pronouns. Possessive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns. Indefinite pronouns. Interrogative pronouns. Relative pronouns. These are the main types of pronouns in English. By understanding the different types of pronouns, you can use them effectively in your writing and communication. Section 2 Personal pronouns Personal pronouns in English refer to specific people or things. They indicate whether they are singular or plural. There are different types of personal pronouns in English, including subjective, objective, and possessive pronouns. Subjective pronouns Subjective pronouns are used as the subject of a sentence. The subjective pronouns in English are I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Example I am going to the store. You should come to the party. He is a doctor. She likes to read books. It is raining outside. We are going to the beach. They are my friends. Objective pronouns. Objective pronouns are used as the object of a verb or preposition in a sentence. The objective pronouns in English are me, you, him, her, it, us and them. Example. Omar gave me a present. Can you help him about his homework? The teacher talked to her after class. The cat chased the ball and caught it. We are going to the park with them. Possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are used to show ownership or possession of something. The possessive pronouns in English are mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, and theirs. Example The car is mine. Is this book yours? His hat is on the table. Her dress is blue. Its color is red. Our house is big. Their cat is playful. Personal pronouns are a fundamental part of English grammar and are used in everyday communication. Understanding their different forms and functions can help you to communicate more clearly and effectively. Section 3. Reflexive Pronouns Reflexive pronouns in English are used when the subject of a sentence and the object of a verb or preposition are the same person or thing. They are formed by adding self to the end of the singular pronouns, myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself, 
and selves to the end of the plural pronouns ourselves, yourselves, themselves. Here are some examples of how reflexive pronouns are used in English. Reflexive pronoun is used to indicate that the subject and object are the same. Examples She cut herself while chopping vegetables. He is teaching himself to play the guitar. They bought themselves some new clothes. Reflexive pronoun is used to emphasize the subject. Examples I have never been myself to Paris. You said yourself that you would do it. They decided themselves to go on vacation. Reflexive pronoun is used to express a reciprocal action. Examples They hugged each other tightly. The children enjoyed themselves at the amusement park. We congratulated ourselves on a job well done. It's important to note that reflexive pronouns are not interchangeable with personal pronouns. They are only used when the subject and object are the same. So, for example, you would say, I cut myself and not, I cut me. Similarly, you would say, she taught herself and not, she taught her. Section 4 Demonstrative Pronouns Demonstrative pronouns in English are used to point out or indicate specific people, places, or things. They are used to distinguish between items and to provide clarity in communication. The four demonstrative pronouns in English are this, that, these, and those. Here are some examples of how demonstrative pronouns are used in English. This is used to refer to something that is close to the speaker in space or time. Examples This book is really interesting. This is my favorite restaurant. That is used to refer to something that is further away from the speaker in space or time. Examples That car over there is mine. I remember that day like it was yesterday. These is used to refer to multiple things that are close to the speaker in space or time. Examples These shoes are too tight. These pictures are from my trip to Europe. Those is used to refer to multiple things that are further away from the speaker in space or time. Examples Those mountains in the distance are beautiful. Those memories are from a long time ago. It's important to note that demonstrative pronouns are often used with a noun such as this book or that car, to provide more context and clarity in communication. By using demonstrative pronouns correctly, you can help your listener or reader understand exactly what you are referring to. Section 5 Indefinite Pronouns Definite pronouns in English are used to refer to people, places, or things in a general, nonspecific way. They do not refer to a specific person or thing, but rather to a group of people or things. There are several types of indefinite pronouns in English, including Singular indefinite pronouns Singular indefinite pronouns refer to one person, thing, or amount. 
They include anyone, someone, something, everything, nobody, somebody, and nothing. Example Anyone can participate in the competition. Someone left their umbrella here. Is there something you would like to talk about? Everything is going according to plan. Nobody knows the answer to that question. Somebody left their phone on the table. I have nothing to do today. Plural and definite pronouns. Plural and definite pronouns refer to more than one person, thing, or amount. They include some, many, few, several, both, and others. Example Some of the books are on the shelf. Many people enjoy traveling. Few have ever seen a shooting star. Several students have already turned in their assignments. Both of the teams played well. Others have similar experiences. Singular and plural indefinite pronouns. Singular and plural indefinite pronouns can refer to one or more people, things, or amounts, depending on the context. They include all, any, none, and most. Example All of the cookies are gone. Any of the movies would be fine. None of the students were absent. Most of the pizza has been eaten. Indefinite pronouns are useful for expressing general ideas or concepts without being too specific. By using them correctly, you can help your listener or reader understand the general nature of what you are talking about. Section 6 Interrogative Pronouns Interrogative pronouns in English are used to ask questions about people, places, or things. They are typically used at the beginning of a sentence to introduce a question. The five interrogative pronouns in English are who, whom, whose, what, and which. Here are some examples of how interrogative pronouns are used in English. Who is used to ask about a person or people? Examples Who is coming to the party tonight? Who wrote this book? Whom is used to ask about the object of a sentence? Examples Whom did you invite to the wedding? To whom should I address this letter? Whose is used to ask about possession? Examples Whose car is parked outside? Whose idea was it to start the project? What is used to ask about a thing or things? Examples What time is the meeting? What is your favorite color? Which is used to ask about a choice between specific things. Examples Which shirt do you want to wear? Which restaurant should we go to for dinner? It's important to note that interrogative pronouns can be used to ask both open-ended questions, such as who is your favorite author, and closed-ended questions, such as which shirt do you want to wear. By using interrogative pronouns correctly, you can ask clear and effective questions in English. Section 7 
Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns in English are used to connect two clauses that share a common noun or pronoun. They allow us to create more complex sentences and avoid repeating words. The five relative pronouns in English are who, whom, whose, that, and which. Here are some examples of how relative pronouns are used in English. Who is used to refer to people? Examples The woman who is wearing a red dress is my sister. The man who I met at the party is a doctor. Whom is also used to refer to people, but in a more formal or literary style. Examples The author, whom I met at a book signing, was very friendly. The athlete, whom the fans cheered for won the championship. Whose is used to indicate possession? Examples The boy whose bike was stolen reported it to the police. The company, whose profits have increased, is hiring more employees. That is used to refer to both people and things. Examples The book that I'm reading is very interesting. The restaurant that we went to last night was crowded. Which is also used to refer to both people and things but typically when the information is not essential to the meaning of the sentence. Examples The car, which is red, belongs to my neighbor. The building, which was built in the 1800s, is a historical landmark. Relative pronouns are useful for creating more complex sentences and avoiding repetition. By using them correctly, you can help your listener or reader understand the relationship between different parts of your sentence. Section 8. Possessive Pronouns Possessive pronouns in English are used to indicate possession or ownership. They are used to replace nouns and show that something belongs to someone. The possessive pronouns in English are mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, and theirs. Here are some examples of how possessive pronouns are used in English. Mine is used to show that something belongs to the speaker. Examples That book is mine. The blue car in the parking lot is mine. Yours is used to show that something belongs to the listener. Examples Is this your coat? The house with the red door is yours. His is used to show that something belongs to a male person. Examples His watch is on the table. The keys in the ignition are his. Hers is used to show that something belongs to a female person. Examples Her phone is on the counter. The painting in the living room is hers. It's is used to show that something belongs to a non-human subject. Examples the cat is licking its paw. The tree lost its leaves in the fall. Ours is used to show that something belongs to a group that includes the speaker. Examples The vacation home is ours. The decision to move was ours.
Theirs is used to show that something belongs to a group that does not include the speaker or the listener. Examples The yellow house across the street is theirs. The responsibility for the project is theirs. Possessive pronouns can be used to make sentences more concise and avoid repetition. By using them correctly, you can help your listener or reader understand the ownership or possession of different items or subjects. Section 9 Conversations Conversation 1 Hi. I noticed on your email signature that you use they or them pronouns. Can you tell me more about that? Sure. I'm non-binary, which means I don't identify as strictly male or female. Using they or them pronouns feels more comfortable and accurate for me. Thank you for explaining. I want to make sure I'm respecting your identity, so I'll make sure to use those pronouns when referring to you. Conversation 2 I'm having trouble understanding when to use who versus whom in a sentence. Can you explain it to me? Sure. Who is used when referring to the subject of a sentence, like who is coming to the party? Whom is used when referring to the object of a sentence, like whom did you invite to the party? Okay, I think I'm starting to get it. So it's like who is doing the action and whom is receiving the action? Exactly. You've got it. Conversation 3 I saw an article online that said using he as a gender-neutral pronoun is outdated and offensive. Is that true? Yes, it is. Using he to refer to someone who doesn't identify as male is not inclusive or respectful. Instead, you can use they as a gender-neutral pronoun or ask the person what pronouns they prefer. Thank you for letting me know. I want to make sure I'm using language that is respectful and inclusive to everyone. Section 10. Exercises. Exercise 1. Identify the pronouns in the following sentences. 1. She went to the store to buy some groceries. 2. We enjoyed the movie, but they didn't like it. 3. He is my best friend and I'm happy to have him in my life. 4. It is raining outside, so they decided to stay home. 5. The cat licked its paws before settling down to sleep. Exercise 2. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate pronoun. 1. Underscore 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 is a good student and always does underscore 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 homework on time. 2. My brother and underscore 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 are planning to go on a trip together next month. 3. Is this book underscore 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 underscore? I found it on the table. 4. 
The concert tickets are underscore 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 underscore. So we'll have to find something else to do. 5. The dog barked at underscore 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 own reflection in the mirror. Exercise 3. Choose the correct pronoun to complete the sentence. 1. Sarah and I, me, are going to the park. 2. Who, whom, did you invite to the party? 3. The new employee introduced himself, herself, to the team. 4. The cat licked its, its, paws before settling down to sleep. 5. He, him, and I are planning to take a cooking class together.